If you're in the market for a sofa, if you're a new homeowner, if you're a new renter and you're looking for a sofa, don't worry. I've read all the reviews of some of the most popular sofas here on the internet, on TikTok, on YouTube, and I've read them all so that you don't have to. If you guys have been around my channel for a while, you'll know that I have a sofa that I kind of have a love-hate relationship with. I love the quality of the sofa. I spent a little less than $1,000 for the sofa. And for some reason, the sofa is amazing when it comes to quality. I've had it for about six or seven years. I take my daily naps on that sofa and it never sags. I have multiple people sit on that sofa and I've never had to refluff the sofa or change the cushions or do anything like that because it's really held up its shape over the last seven years. So I really do love the sofa for that aspect alone. Unfortunately, it's just not my style. I got it at Rainbow and Flanagan. This was really before online shopping for sofas was like a thing. So I picked out whatever I can find at the time. Now I'm kind of in the market for a new sofa, but I want the quality to be the exact same. I've picked out between about 13 sofas that I kind of want to go over with you guys. I read the reviews on all of them and I've done my research just to give you guys an insight of how they kind of hold up, their cost, and we're going to go through it all. Okay, so the first sofa I want to talk about is from CB2. It's called the Camden Sofa. I love this sofa. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It is a very contemporary, modern type sofa. I love how the armrests are very squared off. It adds a very contemporary look to the sofa. I also love that it has a long seat bench. This sofa comes in around $2,500 and it does have 20 different colors in fabric and colors that you can choose from. So I've read some of the reviews and it is fairly positive, but there are some cons to take note of. So let's go over the pros first. It is a deep seated couch, which is really nice. So if you want to sit back and kick back into the couch and kind of sink in the couch, this definitely does have that as a deep seated couch. It also fits a lot of people, it can fit four people comfortably. It is also a very comfortable couch. And from the pictures, it does look like it could be comfortable, but sometimes pictures can be a little deceiving. There are a lot of reviews that it is very easy to clean. So it does have this kind of durable fabric and you can easily spot treat it. However, <laughs> although it is easy to spot clean, a lot of the reviews that I have seen that do have a lot of uh, negatives about the sofa is that it does tend to discolor over time. And although you can spot treat it, like I said, with excess use of the sofa and using it on a regular basis, the sofa does seem to discolor over time. And it's something that can't be cleaned out. I read that some people have tried to have it professionally steamed and it really hasn't brought in the, the uh, color back to life. Um, maybe choosing one of the other fabrics and colors might be a better option, but I know this very light white fabric is very popular. It just doesn't look like it would hold up over time, especially if you're using it constantly. I wouldn't say this is a family room sofa. I would really say this is like a sitting room sofa. This is where you have guests and they come over and they sit pretty. I wouldn't call this like your lounger or sleeper sofa. Also, I've read that the seat bench does tend to crease a little bit. Because you have that long bench seating, there is a chance for it to crease a lot easier than having like separate seat cushions. So yeah, I would definitely not recommend this for like family seating or lounge seating. This is definitely your sitting pretty type couch. Beautiful couch, kind of expensive, a little high maintenance as well. So the next sofa I wanna talk about is from Crate and Barrel. This sofa is called the Well Sofa. It also comes in three different colors, one stock color and two colors that you can get made just for you so you can customize it. I do love the modern look of this sofa. It does give me very Scandinavian vibes especially with the wooden legs, the light wooden legs. I also get Japan vibes from this as well. And I could also see it in a boho space. Pros and cons of this one. I've read that it does spot treat very easily. So if you do get stains on it or if you spill wine, it is pretty easy to spot treat with like a Forex spray or something of that sort. And I've read that it is also very comfortable, which is good because a lot of sofas that we see online, we can't really tell if it's all that comfortable. And with this new age of buying sofas online, we don't all go into a store and test out sofas like we used to, right? And like I mentioned, it does come in three colors, one stock color and two that you'll have to custom order. Some of the negatives that I read was that the pillows and the seats also tend to sag. I did see some pictures from reviews of the sofa sagging. It definitely doesn't look the same as when it was first purchased. Also, I read that there's a tendency for the sofa to squeak. I think I read one or two reviews about the sofa squeaking. There are also a lot more positive than negative reviews on most, if not all of these sofas. I'm just pointing out the slight few reviews that I've seen with sort of consistencies. So moving on to Interior Define. If you guys haven't heard Interior Define, I don't know where you've been. You've probably been living under a rock. I actually was looking into this 
exact sofa. It is called the Jasper Fabric Sofa. I've seen it all over TikTok, all over Instagram. They promote this couch heavily and they should. It's a beautiful, beautiful sofa. The silhouette of the sofa is gorgeous. It's very clean, streamlined. You can get it in a love seat. You can get it in a sectional. You can also get it in a chase. So there is a lot of room for customization on this specific sofa. You can order a lot of free swatches for different colors and different textures and they can send it free to your house. The only reason I didn't pull the trigger on this sofa because it is absolutely gorgeous is I don't think it's gonna stay like that. The pros, it comes in down alternative. So if you're looking for the sofa to hold up a little bit longer, it's nice that they give that option, at least for a little bit more longevity in the sofa. It is customizable as well. Just know that with all these customizations, the price does tend to increase as well as the length it takes to get that item. So the cost for this sofa is just around 2045. So 2045 and it goes up from there. 2045 for the love seat. You can choose the legs, the size, the depth of the couch. You can have a deeper couch. You can have a shallower couch. It's really nice, especially when it comes to customization. However, the cushions don't hold their shape. So this also has like that long bench seating, which I absolutely love, but they just tend to kind of sag a lot easier. I also read that it's kind of uncomfortable and it also has a lot of pilling. I read that from a lot of the different reviews that it does pill. But to be honest, a lot of sofas pill. Moving on to Casserly. You guys know I've mentioned Casserly like a number of times on my channel. I've read really good reviews. And if you're into the cloud sofa, this is your dupe right here. So this one I have is called the Dawson Extended Sofa. It is around $2,800. It is very similar to the cloud sofa, but I would say that it does have a little bit more structure than the cloud sofa, which I prefer. But especially with the armrest on this sofa, it is really squared off. The cushions do seem like they are a lot more structured as well. The pros of this sofa is that it is a modular sofa. You can add to it down the line if you want to add a chase down the line or if you want to add a sectional, you can always do that. So you have the ability to keep expanding the sofa if you want. It also has really deep seats and it is a very comfortable sofa from what I've read. You also get the ability to have free swatches sent to your house. However, this sofa only comes in one color. That is the con that I've noticed with this specific sofa. There isn't the option to really customize this one as far as material and color. Another con that I read is that it attracts lint. So the next couch I'm gonna mention is from Article. This one is called the Timber Sofa and it gives me boho vibes and mid-century vibes. Even a Scandinavian space, again with the wood trimming, of the sofa and then the pillows on the sofa, the fluffiness really adds to that Scandinavian vibe. But with the angular feet of the sofa, it definitely gives mid-century vibes as well. It does come in three different colors and it comes in just at $1,300, which is really good because it's a little bit longer than a love seat. And I think that is kind of an affordable price when it comes to sofas nowadays. Some of the pros is that it is a good value. Like I mentioned, it is around $1,300 and it also has deep seats as well. So there is slight customization with the sofa, which is really good. But the cons that I've seen is that the fabric does pill and that the fabric is a little stiff and a little scratchy and it's a little rough on the skin. Those are things to take into consideration. I know the sofa is very popular on article. It had a lot more positive than negative reviews, I would say, but it still is things to consider when looking at this sofa. Okay, so the next sofa we're gonna talk about is from Ikea. Now, if we're looking for these budget-friendly sofas, this is the place to go. This one is called the Slatterham Sofa from Ikea. I have seen this sofa on TikTok. I think her name is Erin. I'll link some of her videos down below. I've seen her style this couch to the T and it looks absolutely amazing. It is customizable as well. It is modular, so you have the ability to add on and create different types of sofa settings, whether you want a love seat or a regular sofa seating or a sofa with a chase or a sectional. It does come in a few different colors as well. And it comes in right at $700 just for the love seat alone. As far as the pros, it does have removable covers that you can actually put in the washing machine, which is always a pro. Always do a double check on your sofas to see if you can actually machine wash your covers for your seat and your pillows. Some of the cons might be the quality. It is Ikea and you know the good old saying, you kind of get what you pay for. This could fall into that bucket. I wouldn't say that this is going to be the couch that's gonna last you 10 years. So the next sofa that I wanna talk about is also from Ikea. It is a newer sofa. It is a little bit more expensive on the Ikea side of things. The name of the sofa is the Atlard. It is 1049, so just over a thousand dollars. And it comes in four different colors. You have this really nice navy blue color and this kind of ox blood 
solid color and then you have a gray and then like a lighter gray color this gives me minimalist vibe especially with the black framing of the legs around it the pros is that you are getting a good value for the sofa it's not too expensive and it is a designer dupe it is a dupe for the outline sofa which i think is closer to four grand and it's very similar in style some of the cons that i've seen is that it does have some creaking some customers have noticed some creaking on the sofa so again as far as longevity of the sofa i wouldn't say that it's going to last all that long okay so the next sofa is from all modern i love this sofa it is this rust leather sofa this does give me very mid-century modern style with the tufted seat it also gives me industrial vibes now this is the clark sofa from all modern it is 17 80 it does come in three different colors i have read that it is very comfortable which is a positive but some of the cons is that the leather tends to wear easily it's not what i would consider a lounging sofa if it's going to deteriorate that bad just to mention that it was only a handful of people that have noted that but it was a consistent flaw that i did notice in the reviews the next sofa that we're going to talk about is the claymont sofa from all modern i absolutely love this sofa this sofa is so beautiful, so clean line, so sleek, and I love the walnut wood on the bottom base of this. This gives me Japandi vibes all the way. I absolutely love the sofa. What I don't love about this sofa is the price. It is $3,740, $3,740, and it is a love seat. It is not that long. It's about 78 inches, so for the price, it doesn't really work for me. It does come in two colors, so it's not really customizable. You kind of get what you get. I did read that it is a comfortable sofa, which is really nice. Again, it does have that bench seating and I really love that bench seating. And it does have those two chunky kind of pillow armrests, which is really, really beautiful. It is very squared off, so it is screaming a very modern feel for the sofa. Um, but again, the length of the couch is kind of where I feel like you lose value, at least for the price. It's almost $4,000, one of the most expensive sofas on my list and it's one of the smallest as well okay so the next one i want to talk about is from west elm the last three that i actually want to mention are from west elm and i was unable to find reviews on west elm west elm what's what's up with that this one is called the remy leather modular sofa it is a dupe for another sofa that it costs a lot more this style has been really popular as well and i really love this i can definitely see it in like a man cave i can see it in a industrial space i could also see it in a mid-century modern space i really love the rust color of this it does come in several different fabric color options that you can choose from. It does come in at around $2,078 to almost $4,000 for the sofa, depending on whether you're getting a love seat or a long sofa or sectional. Pros of this is that with West Elm, you can order free swatches and have them shipped to your house for free. It is also a designer dupe. It is a low profile sofa and modular. It is genuine leather, so genuine leather, doesn't determine whether it's going to hold up long term or not. The next sofa that I want to talk about is also from West Elm. This is the Dalton 2P Chase sectional. This one comes in at around $3,000 to almost $5,000. So this really depends on the configuration that you get, as well as the size of the sofa that you get, as well as the fabric and color choice. Pros of this one as well, and it is low profile and it does have a chase sectional. So the last sofa that I want to talk about is, and don't come at me because we all know how I feel about boucle. I'm not really a fan of boucle, but this sofa is absolutely gorgeous. I love the shape of it. It is called the curved modern sofa. This one comes in at $2,800. I can see this in a glam room. I can see this in a seating room. Where with, uh, all neutral colors. I just love the shape of the sofa. Again, boucle, I don't know how long the trend will last for boucle. I wish it did come in other colors, but it doesn't seem to. It just comes in this white cream color. I would definitely put this in an office or uh, a glam room. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. It says that 67% of you guys are not subscribed to my channel, which hurts tremendously. I put a lot of work in these videos and I'm trying to hit 100K by December, okay? And I would love you if you can help your girl do that. All right, I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace.